Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to do these lovely, um, they call them dishcloths, but I use mine for placemats and I also use them for decorations. Um, since it's a couple months away from Christmas, I thought I would do this in the Christmas colors, the ombre yarn. It is from Lily Sugar and Cream, and it actually comes in a big cone like this. I'm also using a five millimeter hook. Um, this pattern has two, I guess you could say special or unique stitches. One is a double crochet front post, and the other is a double triple front post. Um, I will be going as slow as I can to make sure that you guys get this. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, and otherwise, let's get started. So I'm going to put this down and we are going to start with your, I have a squeaky chair and this is actually an old, old desk. This is, desk is probably close to a hundred years old as is the chair. Um, I just love working on this desk. It means a lot to me and to my family. So. That's why it has all of the dents and stains and what have you. <laughs> but okay, here we go. So make your slip however it is that you make it. There's no right or wrong reason. I've seen this done like, I don't even know how many different times and it always cracks me up kind of because everyone has their own way of doing it. But as long as you have your loop on your hook, five millimeter hook, we're going to chain five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And again, with this cotton yarn, if you're really struggling, if you're really tugging on it, um, you're doing it too tight. It needs to be loose. So we have five chains, and then we're going to slip stitch to the first chain right here. So all you do is insert, yarn over, and then you pull through the two. So that makes a little ring. And then I don't really worry about this. I um, adjust it as I go along. So just don't even concern yourself with that first chain, first loop. You can tighten it up or whatever, but I like to tighten it up um, when the ring and when all of the chains are in there. So you can see in the middle, it has a little space and that is what we're going to do the first round in. So we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to do 11 double crochets in the ring. So this sometimes the chain threes at the beginning do not count as anything. This is going to count as a double crochet, okay? So when they say you go in the ring, you're actually crocheting inside of the ring. So you yarn over, you put your ho hook through the middle, yarn over, bring it the loop through, and then you yarn over, and then you do your double crochet. It took me a while to figure that out. I know a lot of videos on here, the women are just doing their thing like super fast and I didn't understand what was going on, but you actually 
put your yarn and your your um, hook in the center of the loop that you just made. And then, I don't know what, you know, beginners or people that are just starting out, you wanna learn to tuck your beginning strand behind the loops that you're making. And again, this all takes time and please do not um, get discouraged because I've been doing this for quite some time, over 20 years, but um, you know, everyone goes at their own pace and just stick with it. So we're gonna do 10 more. I'm losing track of myself. So yarn over and they're just double crochets and inside the middle, that's two, three, four, five, and then you can continue and I will see you back around. Eight, nine, ten. If you're running out of room, you can hold the first chain and just scoot everything over. So I believe we're at ten. Eleven, twelve total, including this first chain. So we're going to always slip stitch to the top of the first chain three. So here is the top. And all you do is slip stitch. And then I always, always recommend that you count. There are so many times what I've done and I just thought I've done such a great job and I forget to count that <laughs> uh, it turns out into a disaster. <laughs> and it's actually quite funny, but not really, but it is. So let's count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So this was round one, first round. Then we're going to go with the second round. And the original pattern I made had contrasting colors. Just for time's sake, I'm just going to use the same yarn throughout this particular part project and then I will do a different video with the contrasting colors. So we're going to start the second round right now. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then there is the same space right there straight down. We're going to put another double crochet. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, one and two. So you see that right there, there's one and two double crochets. Well, there's one chain three and a double crochet into the same space, the first chain. Um, then we're going to do two double crochets in each double crochet around for a total of 30, I'm sorry, 24 double crochets. So you're going to put two double crochets in each stitch. 
So here's the second stitch. So we yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through. There's one, insert hook into the same one. Two. See that? So we have two. And then here's the same stitch. You yarn over, insert hook, and then double crochet. So this is called increasing. So we're going to increase the amount of chains that we have by putting two in each stitch. I call them stitches. That might drive some people crazy. I understand they're chains, but <laughs> I call them stitches. So here we go again, here's the next chain. Yarn over, insert through both strands of yarn, pull through, double crochet, yarn over, insert hook, double crochet. Okay, continue that. Two double crochets in each stitch, in each chain, and I will see you at the end of this row. Okay, we're coming up on towards the end and we have two chains left, but you're only going to use the second to the last chain. And let's count and make sure that we have a total of 24. So that's two. Remember the first chain three counts as a double crochet. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. So then again, at the end of every row, we want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And we're gonna do that like so. So we have a little circle. And now we're going to continue the third round. And the third round brings us to the double treble, triple front post. So what that is, bear with me here, we are going to chain three, that's one, two, three, okay? And we're gonna come straight down to your first round. All right, so in the first round we had 12 double crochets. So it is the, this is called the double triple front post. You yarn over three times. So that's one, two, three. And you insert your hook behind it behind the double crochet that came straight down. 
see. You yarn it over, pull through, and then with each loop that's on your hook, you want to pull through. So you're going to yarn over one, yarn over, oh no, hold on, I messed up. Three times, go down, up, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through two loops, not one, two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over, go through two. So you're actually doing that four times, okay? I know it's kind of confusing, so I will help you. My yarn's getting tangled. Okay. So then we're going to double crochet in each of the next two double crochets. Okay, so we're going to go back behind here, double crochet one, and double crochet two, okay, and then we're going to do the double, triple front post again. So we've done it around this one. Now this is the next double crochet that we're gonna use. And again, we come straight down. So you yarn over three times. One, two, three. And I like to put them all the way down here, you may not like that but you go from behind come through so that only one double crochet is there you yarn over pull that yarn over through yarn over again and you go through the first two yarn over second two yarn over and then yarn over and pull through the last two. So you're going to be yarning over for a total of four times. Okay, and then we double crochet in the next two. And you wanna make sure to get that one that's behind it. I've done that too, where I skip one and there's a lonely one behind it and then when everything's said and done, it doesn't look right. So we've done one. And then we're gonna do two. And then after we do two, we're gonna find our double crochet here. We're gonna yarn over three times, one, two, three, and then we're going to pull, go behind the double crochet at the bottom, the next available one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay? And then move this out of the way and find the next empty stitch, which is that one. You wanna put one double crochet and two double crochets. Okay, and 
and then we're gonna show you slow one more time. So you yarn over three times. One, two, three. Find the double crochet at the very bottom. Go behind that one. See that? Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, two, yarn over, two, yarn over, and two. Okay, and then we move this behind, find the next chain that's empty, and then we double crochet. So I'm going to continue this. If you need to rewind, please do, but it is a double triple front post and then two double crochets double triple front post and two double crochets and i will meet you down towards the end Okay, so we're coming up on the last three. 
Yarn over three times, insert. And I don't know if you noticed, but I totally like to fold everything in half because I think it is so much easier. Three, four, and then we go behind. I was having some technical difficulties with the yarn. <laughs> Two, and then we go straight down. One, two, three, four. And then we go behind here. One, and two. And then you can see we have one more left. One, two, three. Start behind, yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. And then we are going to slip stitch again to the top of the chain three. So right there. And there you have it. That is the end of the third round. So you have 12 double, triple front posts. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there you go. So now we're going to continue on with round four.